Hey guys, in today's video, I am going to show you how I got rid of cystic acne in as little as seven days, and I'm gonna show you how you can too. So make sure to stay tuned. So if you guys are new to my channel, hello. I'm Shoshana and I test skincare products for brown girls. You know what? I said I was not going to do the song today. I don't have time. We need to get straight into the facts, okay? So, I had cystic acne, like, honestly, for like 10 years. And I have not had a breakout real talk in at least, like, I would say at least a year. But something happened. Something got out of whack. And I needed to hurry up and get rid of this unsightly, ugly, nasty breakout like right here it was just super super gross and i'm going to show you guys how i was able to get rid of it in literally seven days so step one is to make sure that you create regular skincare routine for the a.m and for the p.m and honestly it could really be like super simple it could honestly be the same thing for both the a.m and the p.m and all you need are three things Number one is a cleanser, number two is a toner, and number three is a moisturizer. That is literally all you need, but you need to create that system for yourself ASAP. So I start off with my oil cleanser, and I actually do this. This is a part of my regimen when I have on makeup. And um, I have a video on this, and I'll make sure to link that above so you guys can see the importance of, of doing oil cleansing and then also um, how I do my method as well. Next, I go in with my uh, I double cleanse, rather. So I go in with my blackout um, facial cleanser that I got from Herpothecary. This stuff's amazing. It can literally take off literally everything. Um, and then I go in with my toner and I got this from Pixie uh, from Target and you can get it too I have a video about it as well and I'll make sure to link that up above as well too this doubles as an exfoliant so not only are you toning the skin but you're also exfoliating it too and I will say that this really helped in clearing that little scar um, <laughs> clearing that up for me the next item that I use is my moisturizer and I have it from base butter it's the radiate face jelly I actually have a 15% coupon code you guys will see it in the description box make sure to check it out the stuff is great 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 second thing that you want to make sure that you incorporate during these you know couple of days when you first are starting to see this acne flare up is masking and steaming <music> So I have one tablespoon of bentonite clay, turmeric powder, matcha powder, and two cups full of apple cider vinegar. And I have squeezed lemon juice. You guys will see all of that in a second. <laughs> You'll also see how I mixed it all together and then realized that I needed to have more stuff. But it all came out to one tablespoon of each. Um, just a warning, you guys. This stinks. Like, I don't even know why. But it's amazing for your skin. It cleans your pores. It helps with scarring. And it heals and it soothes your skin and you can actually do this up to three times a week it really really will show a difference in the texture of your skin and um, and just overall in your acne in general so um, you just want to go ahead and get all of that together and you're gonna set this aside because you're gonna start steaming your face first and after you get done steaming you'll put it on so I've got my boiling hot water here and I'm going to put my towel over. You guys be very, very careful. I let this um, steam for about 20 minutes and <laughs> as you guys can see, my face was super sweaty and it's super open. The pores are, pores are open and ready to receive that goodness um, and those nutrients that are in this mask. Um, and there's tons of antioxidants, tons of good things, especially in that matcha green tea powder. And and um, this stuff is just amazing. Like I said, two to three times a week. I would recommend three times if you're really in a rush, you know, to get that um, off. Third thing that you guys are going to need to do is do a spot treatment. So I, my first spot treatment that I did was actually I used apple cider vinegar. And I just used straight apple cider vinegar on my face and I just pressed it down for about five minutes and I took it off. And then I pressed it down again for about five minutes and I took it off. Now, there are a couple of warnings that I'm going to tell you. Number one, putting apple cider vinegar on your face is not necessarily for everybody. So that is a disclaimer. Number two is that if you do, make sure that you dilute it. So if you have oily 
skin, which you probably do because that's the reason why you have the cystic acne, you're going to want to put one part apple cider vinegar and one part water. And then you can apply it to your face and maybe you can try one minute on and then 10 minutes off, one minute on and then 10 minutes off. What it's actually going to do is going to dry out the pimple and it's actually going to create almost like a burn, like a scab. Again, I wouldn't necessarily advise everyone to do this. You actually don't even need to do this. What you could do, and what I actually started doing because I thought that the apple cider vinegar was just a bit too harsh, is I used Mario Badusco's Drying Lotion. This lotion you can actually get from Amazon or you can go to Ulta and you can get it there. Maybe I think you can get it on, it on the Mario Badusco's website, but to be honest with you, if you just are really in a rush and you don't have time, girl, go down to Ulta, get you some it's 17 dollars, and i know it's a very small little bottle but it's gonna last you and you don't really you shouldn't really be having like a lot of breakouts very often because if you do you might need to go to a dermatologist but if you're just having like your occasional flare-up this mario baduski drying oil is going to be bombs.coms for you <music> Now the fourth thing that you are going to want to do is be obsessively compulsively drinking water. You are not going to be able to heal your face with just acne products. You definitely are going to have to heal it from the inside out and you're going to need your water. So I don't necessarily like tell people that you need to actually have like a full blown um, gallon of water, but I just suggest that you drink half of your body weight in ounces. So for example, if you are 100 pounds, which you probably are not, and if you are, then hey, I'm sorry you guys, my husband is flexing in the background. <laughs> but if you are 100 pounds, you would just divide that by two, that would give you 50, and you would drink 50 ounces of water. So again, you are going to drink half of your body weight in ounces of water a day. So, drink up. that you are going to need to do is heal your gut I'm talking about this bad boy right up in here y'all need to heal this bad boy okay listen your gut is the reason why you have the acne that you have it's because whatever is going on on the inside it is not properly digesting therefore it is trying to come out through your skin and let's not forget that your skin is a organ okay and it's just like any other organ in the body it has its way of secreting toxins and things like that and if it's not prop if those toxins are not probably be um taken out in waste and you already know i'm talking about number two you know i'm talking about number two but don't be nasty basically if your body is not properly taking out the waste then it's gonna come on your skin, which is super gross. So probiotics with at least 20 to 50 billion active live cultures, um, usually with lactobacillus and bifidobacteria have been known to assist and help um, digestion and to give you a healthy glow. And then of course I have my zinc here, which helps protect your skin. It aids in wound healing and regeneration and it decreases the severity of acne and early signs of aging over time. It definitely helps with uh, wrinkles and lines sixth thing that you are going to want to do change your pillowcases girl basically the reason why you are going to want to change your pillowcases I believe I talked about this in another video but your skin rejuvenates every single night and actually your skin goes through a 30 day like skin like you get new skin every 30 days basically single night though you go through like a rejuvenation process of renewing your skin you're going to need to change your pillowcases at least two to three times a week so that there is not any nasty skin or dead skin cells left over that are coming right back on your newly clean washed face every single night it just honestly makes sense and you know cleanliness is next to godliness as everyone has you know been saying so like let's just be godly and like keep it cute and keep it clean change your pillowcases <music> And then the seventh thing that you are going to want to do is work 
out. Now, you guys know my husband is a personal trainer, and so, of course, working out is near and dear to my heart. And you don't have to, you know, run miles and miles and miles, but you do have to work out. The difference between doing a steaming in your own house and then actually doing a physical, like, workout is, is that your hormones are going to be affected by the working out and a lot of the reasons why you may have you know the acne breakout that you had is because your hormones are out of whack and it all plays into what is going on internally inside of you and so one you know signal gets to another signal gets to another thing and I'm not a doctor I'm not playing one on TV or on YouTube but what I'm basically saying is is that it, you're going to benefit hormonally from actually working out and of course the sweat that comes from that and releasing all of those toxins out as well. Seven tips is all that I have and that's actually all you need to do to get rid of your cystic acne in as little as seven days. Now it's not going to actually take off the acne scar because if you can see right here um, I still have a little bit of scarring, but that'll actually be in another video. That takes a little bit longer to heal, but definitely you'll be able to get rid of that unsightly red bump for sure within seven days. If you guys enjoyed this video, and I really hope that you did, please make sure that you like and give it a thumbs up and that you subscribe to my channel and leave a comment down below and let me know if you are actually going to try any of these things. I love you guys and I thank you guys so much for subscribing for just like being super awesome and i just love you glow nation and i just thank you thank you thank you Alrighty, i will see you guys in the next video bye